Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to try on some Tom Ford makeup that is new to me. They're not new to the industry. Uh, two of them are samples that I got and one of them I purchased with my own money recently. I haven't even swatched it yet so it will truly be the first time um, I'm trying it on for this video. And I will also be using Tom Ford eyeshadows, his Smoky Quartz Quad. This is one of my favorite quads of his, so this video gives me another chance, another reason to go into it. And I already have my brows done and under eye concealer, um, as well as some you know concealing here, any red spots. So I'm just gonna dig into the foundation. What I'm trying here is going to be his Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation that has SPF 50. Um, this is one of the samples that I was referring to earlier, and it comes in four shades, Porcelain, Fawn, Cephia, and Mocha. I think Fawn 4.0, is going to be the best fit. Not that there are a lot of options on this card, but I think this will be close. If we find that it's too deep, I'm going to dig into porcelain, or if it's too yellow, we're gonna dig into porcelain for a bit of pink, a cooler mixture. Um, I am neutral undertone, light to medium, so I think the tone is gonna be good. Or I guess I should say the maybe the light or deepness of it should be good. It might just be the tone that I need some tweaking. I have tried Tom Ford's matte uh, foundation before, and I remember liking it. It was medium to full coverage, and it worked nicely for me. I think some people had issues. It worked nicely for me, except I picked the wrong shade. It was just several shades too deep. I ended up returning it and I didn't go for, I didn't replace it with a lighter shade. Since then, I have not tried on any other Tom Ford foundations. Um, this is really the first time in well over a year and a half. I'm excited. So let me, I'm actually gonna use uh, Sonia G's Jumbo Base here. And I'm not gonna be really elegant because this is, you know, we all know these samples can get kind of awkward here. I'm just gonna dab it onto the brush directly. And then I'm just gonna do that. Oh, might be actually a perfect match or near perfect match. Okay, all right. Looking in the vanity mirror just below the camera and it could probably use a little bit of a pink tone, but I would say we're very close. If I end up liking this foundation a lot and I decide to go and get a full size product, I would probably stick with the shade. Like I wouldn't even mess around and get something else so that I could mix for the right shade. I would probably just stick with this. Well, we'll see how it oxidizes. Um, and how it plays with like the setting powder that I'm going to put on it looks good so far. This is the foundation worked on to both sides of the face and it does give a very nice soft radiance. I'm gonna now set it with um, loose setting powder and then we'll get into some eyeshadows. I'm taking the shade here and putting it onto the crease. Taking the shade, I'm applying this all over the lid below the crease. Then I'm going to blend out. Taking this deeper shade here, I'm applying that above the lash line and we'll be smudging it into the outer corner. Taking the classic crease here from Sonia G, I am now blending the deeper shade further up into the crease and just towards the middle of the lid. With what's left on my Pencil Pro, I'm going to line lightly under the eyes or on the lower lash line. 
just to give it some color, some shade and definition. Let me put on some mascara, then we'll come back for the blush, lipstick, and everything else. For blush, I'm taking his Shade Illuminate Blush Duo here. This is O2 Explicit Flush. This lighter shade here, I wonder if it can be a standalone, as in, I wonder if it could just be a blush shade for me. So I'm just going to go in to this first on one side and see how it looks. Well, actually, it's nice and soft but still pigmented actually really complements the look and the dress well, this is really pretty i think this is really really pretty and if it not for the sake of this video and to demonstrate both shades i would probably leave this look like this as is but I really want to try this too. So taking a different brush, we're going to tap on a bit of this and just layer on two different um, blush shades and see how that looks. I don't want too much of this really bright shade here. So I've tapped off a lot of excess and dabbed it on a tissue. And now we're going to lightly apply. I think that's good enough. <laughs> You've got uh, more of a flush here more pink it's kind of flirty it's cute i think it looks nice i'm hesitant to even go back for a second application i don't think i need it oh but this is nice i think the pairing too the combo of using both shades works too and it just all depends on what you prefer more pigment more obvious blush or something a little bit more Kind of in the background blend it in with the rest of your makeup i mean both could work solo or together really nice there's a story behind the tom four shade and illuminate when these were announced they were definitely on my radar i was going to pick up two or three different um sets or compacts to review and demo for you guys and i remember i ordered it from nordstrom's ordered it and they were all but one were out of stock the one that i placed uh with the order that i placed and i had given up at that point because there was it was fall there was plenty of makeup and a lot of sales that were happening at the same time so i wasn't even confident by that time that i could get to this product in like a timely manner to make it worthwhile so i, I canceled my order and I had put it off, but I knew I still wanted to try it, so I picked it up during the Sephora sale event. And um, yeah, this is really beautiful. I really like it. Uh, we'll be trying this out uh, over the next several weeks, trying it multiple times so that I can add it to the next kind of product update, which I know you guys have gotten really great feedback from. I know you guys uh, do enjoy that content and find the information helpful. So the last part, or the last Tom Ford product I want to demo and try is going to be his satin lipstick and this is in the shade Casablanca look at this it's so cute it's a replication of his full size lipstick even has the debossing here tf Well, the lipstick has a vanilla scent to it, and the foundation also has a scent to it, although I'm not well versed in Tom Ford fragrances. I'm not sure if it's a scent that already exists in a perfume or some kind of eau de toilette. Uh, pleasant. I don't smell the perfume or I don't smell the scent from the foundation anymore. What I smell is the vanilla from the lipstick. Vanilla, citrus, uh, peppermint or mint, that's kind of sort of my threshold for lipstick scents. Uh, anything else, even if it smells very light and very pleasant, uh, it just wears me down over time and I don't find myself going back to it as often as I, I think otherwise it would have. Um, I just prefer no scent. I think that's, no scent is best. All right, for highlighter, I don't have anything from Tom Ford. Uh, I was actually looking at his The Eclat Nu which is the cheek duo here. And neither have enough sparkle, sheen, you know, whatever it is to be really highlighter. So we can leave things as is, 
or I can choose something from a different brand. And because I already have this sitting on my vanity and I really do enjoy this, this is Lisa Eldridge's Elevated Glow and this is Crystal Nebula that I have. I'm gonna use this today. She is coming out or expanding the line with a new shade, one new shade called Moon Glow. And Moon Glow has a pink, cool pink tone to it. Looks beautiful. And I'm very interested. I'd always mean to pick up a second shade, but I never got around to it. So I'm hoping to pick up Moon Glow and if she has like her liquid eyeshadows become in stock around that time, I would definitely pick one of them up just to try it. So this is the finished look and you guys might be wondering why is she in a different outfit? Um, I had actually finished filming, ran off, changed and was about to go out and then I realized there were a few things I just didn't even talk about. Like I didn't even talk about how the foundation um, had set on my skin. So, um, Rewinding here, uh, it's been actually not that long since I finished filming, uh, maybe, maybe 10 minutes. Uh, so it's still very fresh, the makeup, everything. Um, I did redo my lipstick and I think it looks a little bit deeper than when I initially put it on. I actually like the shade like this a little bit more than what it looked like when I put it on. Could be because I sheared it out a bit the first time. Anyways, anyways, um, I do like this look. I really think the blush is gorgeous. And I love how I can use both shades by themselves. And I know I talked about that a couple minutes ago in this video, um, by themselves, or I can layer it on top and give it some kind of extra dimension here. So love that versatility. I don't know if I could do this with like all of the shades probably not but i think there's probably two more that i can do that so uh, maybe when the opportunity uh, happens or is available i'll pick up another one of these um, as for the foundation it continues to look really good i don't think there's much you know separation or color that would indicate this is not a good fit for me. Um, I probably do need something a little bit deeper or I could use bronzer to warm up the face as I get more sun in the summer, but 4.0 Fawn is my shade. And I'm really happy about that. <laughs> and it is very luminous, it is beautiful. Uh, buildable medium coverage, uh, I would not say full coverage, but it is more coverage than the foundation that I have been using from West Montelier and Merit. So uh, not quite as full coverage as Orsay because Orsay is medium buildable to full coverage. So it's kind of in between these two and this does have a luminous finish whereas the others have a skin-like finish. As for the eyeshadow, I really like this quad. The formulation makes the shadows very easy to work with, diffuse, very, very creamy, and I just don't get any fallout. If I go for a really, really smoky look and very elaborate, I can see things getting a little bit messy, but for day-to-day -day normal looks like this, I don't have any fallout, nothing. There's no fallout throughout the day. It just doesn't get messy. Um, let's see what else here before I forget and run off again. I think that is it. Update for this look is likely going to be in a pinned comment below the video. I'm going to wear it as long as I can for the rest of the day. And then for something more detailed and more extensive, these products will be included in the next product update video. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome, good to have you. Consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and ring the bell to get notified every time new content is released. I review a lot of luxury makeup, clean beauty, occasionally luxury skincare, and now also luxury handbags. See you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.